the Victoria Moore from Project Grief. Thanks for watching my next five minute video on grief. So as you can see on the board behind me, I have the dreaded words that everyone sees when either they come to see me for coaching or they come to one of my workshops. The reason it's so dreaded is obviously because it says tell the truth all the time. Now, how many of us are telling the truth all the time? And this isn't just about lies or fibs about what you did or what you didn't do this is the emotional truth how many of us are actually heartbroken sad depressed um, and just feeling terrible and as soon as someone asks that question um, how are you we all say fine i'm okay how are you and that's how it goes and then the other person will respond in the same way but with the grief work and when on a grief level, when the work that I teach and what I really want to get out there to you watching this is that the trouble is with telling this lie over and over again is that you start to believe it. So you start to believe you're OK. You know you're not OK. Inside doesn't feel OK. But the constant mantra of I'm OK, how are you? And, and this pretense. Um, that we go into um, is a very bad thing for us emotionally. It stops us from reaching out for help. It makes us believe we don't need help, that we can just work it out on our own, that somehow through the passage of time or through um, a miracle, through somehow something's going to happen that will make you feel better. And I hope that's true for you. But I'm sorry to tell you, it's not. It's not true. Um, nothing outside of you can make you feel better in the long term. They can distract you. Something amazing can happen in your life. And that's great if it does. But it's only going to be temporary before those old feelings start to come back and you start to not feel good about yourself and you start to go over in your mind about what's happened, what's gone on in the videos that um, I've made previous to this, we've looked at this idea of past and um, now and the future. So when grief happens, obviously you're residing in the past, you're going over and over events that have happened to you. Um, so with this idea of living in the past and now in the present moment, you're telling yourself lies about how you really feel, even though you know inside you don't feel well, this can keep us in a very bad place and keep us trapped. Um, and that's not a good place. Those are the places that can lead to long term depression. They can lead to mental health issues. They can lead to isolation. They can lead to a really um, bad existence for a lot of people out there. And if this is you and you're ready, you're watching this because you're ready to take the next action, then keep watching these videos, reach out um, and see if these, this information can help you. So tell the truth all the time. Obviously, this doesn't mean you go around telling everybody what's gone on in your life. Nobody wants to hear that in the supermarket. Nobody wants to hear that when they just say, hi, how are you? But you can actually respond in a way that's authentic. You can actually respond in a way that says, hey, hi, oh, you know, I'm not so good today. But how are you? So what this does on an emotional level is keeps you on track of where you really are. And it stops you lying to yourself because the lie to yourself can keep you trapped in misery for way too long. I, I know this happened to me. I was very, very, very um, grief stricken, if you like. Um, I know it was grief, but I kind of just thought that that was the way I had to exist. This sort of miserable inside feeling. Everyone on the outside thought I was fine, but on the inside I wasn't. Um, and this was perpetuated by the fact that I would keep saying I'm fine and I acted fine and I sort of put off this pretense. So the minute we see tell the truth all the time, um, either in one of my workshops or if you work with me, it's this straight over, straight into that heart space. And that's what we want. We want to get you into this heart space because that is where recovery comes from. You cannot recover from this space in your mind that says, I'm fine. Yes, I'm absolutely fine. When obviously it's a lie and it's not true. You're not fine and you're not OK. Um, and, you know, that, that's a place that we absolutely have to take action ourselves and really look at getting ourselves out of this. There is no external factor that's going to come along and rescue you. You have to go within.
So that's my five minutes for today and I'll see you tomorrow.